For several years, WWE pushed Roman Reigns as the big dog. He was a solo babyface, quotes around babyface star, who WWE pushed down the fans' throats despite the fact that a mass majority did not want to see Roman Reigns in that role. WWE pushed him as the underdog, as the guy who us as fans were supposed to believe was inferior, a guy who would have to overcome the odds despite the fact that his nickname was the big dog and he was more muscular than near enough everyone he was wrestling against. Nonetheless, I'm getting sidetracked. Babyface Roman Reigns was a pretty polarizing figure to say the least. In this video today, I'm going to compare Babyface Roman Reigns to heel Roman Reigns. And look, I know what you're thinking right from the jump of this video. Oh my god, heel Roman Reigns is clearly better. Well, duh. I mean, obviously. But what I'm going to do in this video is go over just how much better. I'm going to go through the seven key categories in professional wrestling, the seven key elements, the seven key ingredients, and go over just how much better heel Roman Reigns is than babyface Roman Reigns. Will it be a clean sweep? Will babyface Reigns actually win some categories? Let's find out in this video. So, kicking us off, without further ado, entrance theme, okay? Babyface Roman Reigns essentially had the shield entrance theme, but they made some tweaks to it. Whereas heel Roman Reigns has his song, Head of the Table, where it's essentially like a, almost like a choir singing, it's got a, you know, it's got a good beat to it. Both theme songs are good. Personally, I mean, this is probably one of the most, one of if not the most, or the most subjective category in the whole video. Do you prefer Babyface Reigns' theme song? Do you prefer the Hill Reigns song? Personally, I like them both, but if I had to pick one just for the sake of this video, I'm giving entrance theme to Babyface Roman Reigns. That one could cause some conjecture, but leave it down below. Personally, I just prefer that Shield type theme for Roman Reigns as opposed to the current one. The current one's good. Like, I'm personally a big fan of the current one, but I thought that Shield one was just... It just fit Reigns to a T. So, we're starting off this video. Babyface Roman Reigns leads the count one nothing over heel Roman Reigns. I mean, you never know. Upset could be brewing. You don't know. So, from here we go to character. Now, I mean, this one, character. Let's look at heel Roman Reigns. You've got the tribal chief... Head of the table, a guy who, if his family and just anyone doesn't fall in line, he beats them. So you have that version of Roman Reigns. And then you look at the babyface Roman Reigns, and it was a guy who loves his family, he loves Samoa, he's the big dog, he runs his yard, and that's really about it. He'll, he'll Superman punch you, suffer and suck a tash. Like that, 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 that was the character of the babyface Reigns, and then compare it to the heel Roman Reigns, and like, stuff like with the character, you look at the merchandise, I mean, my god, Roman Reigns, the merchandise this guy has, can I just say, I cannot find a Roman Reigns piece of merchandise that fits me anywhere, okay, Roman Reigns shirts in all sizes that aren't like 5XL are just completely sold out, you can't get them anywhere, it's ridiculous, like, I just want to get a show up and win t-shirt, but they're all just gone, so... Yeah, that's the case of the shirt, recognizability, just the Tribal Chief character is just damn sick. So, without further ado, without further babble, the Tribal Chief, heel Roman Reigns, no debate about it, takes character. So that makes it heel Roman Reigns 1, babyface Roman Reigns 1. So, next up, we move to mic skills. Another one which, I mean, is there really much of a debate here? Honestly, is there really much of a debate? You go from the babyface Roman Reigns with... Suffering Succotash. I mean, who can forget that? I mean, just that infamous episode of Raw where Reigns got the, the Suffering Succotash promo. Or, or what about Jack and the Beanstalk? I mean, who doesn't who remember that one? I mean, oh my god. My god, where do you begin? So, that was the babyface Reigns. The babyface Reigns on the mic, who, when he was in a confrontation with Cena in a contract signing, literally froze, forgot his lines for like 15 seconds, and Cena totally buried him. That was face Reigns on the mic. Heel Reigns commands presence. Heel Reigns stands up to anyone and everyone on the mic. Heel Reigns absolutely carries himself brilliantly. He's clearly been taking acting classes, working his promos, becoming the best possible promo he can. So, mic skills, no doubt about it. Mic skills go to Heel Reigns. So, Heel Reigns goes up 2-1. to one. Next up, in ring. Now, Roman Reigns has always been a good in-ring wrestler. It's much the same to John Cena, to where... Just because WWE wants their top guy to wrestle a safe, 
run-of-the-mill, almost cartoony type style. Just because that's the case, you don't really get to see their full capabilities and skill sets exposed. That was what happened to Roman Reigns as a babyface. But as a heel, we've got to see Roman Reigns command matches. Roman Reigns you know, the storylines of matches, the emotion of matches, the meaning of matches, okay, Roman Reigns matches stand out like very few others, like, as we all know, Brock Lesnar's matches, they feel like borderline UFC, like, MMA fights, where it's just some guy trying to overcome the beast, and he's just tossing them around, it feels like a legit final boss battle, those are Lesnar matches, Reigns matches as the tribal chief, have such a story to them, have such emotion and such build to them, that as a result, they just feel so much better in the ring, and they're just, just generally better matches. Like, Reigns, ever since he came back at SummerSlam 2020, he hasn't really had a miss of a match. Like, all Reigns' matches are hits. So, yeah, heel Roman Reigns now goes up 3-1 to one over babyface Reigns. Next up, storylines. This one's much the same as the in-ring. Like, ever since Reigns has come back, the storylines are must-see. The, like, the storylines Reigns is involved in... I mean, where do you begin? The Jey Uso one, I still think that's the best storyline he's been involved in. Like, that whole Jey Uso story from when it began in early September of 2020, right through until... I mean, it's technically it's still going, like, technically, by letter of the, the law, but, I mean, when it was just Reigns and Jey Uso going at it for, like, two, three months, that was just damn good stuff, so... That was amazing. The stuff with Owens was pretty good. It dragged a little, but nonetheless, the Bryan stuff was meh. The Edge stuff, Edge and Reigns just together is sick. And then, yeah, Roman Reigns and Rey Mysterio has been amazing. So, storylines, Hill Reigns wins in a landslide. Babyface Reigns, his storylines were harder to connect with. Like, one of them I remember is the whole one versus all thing against the authority. Do you guys remember that? When Reigns won the WWE World Heavyweight Championship on the Raw after TLC 2015, after he overcomes the League of Nations, he overcomes the authority, he's got his family, Dean Ambrose and the Usos, getting around him, and he loves his family, and... That leads us into the Royal Rumble, he has to go one versus all, Reigns have to go one versus all, and then Triple H beats him, and then at WrestleMania, our big dog, you know, six foot three, giant Jack Samoan, has to overcome the evil 49-year-old Triple H, like, th those storylines just aren't the best, the, the current Reigns storylines are just that much better, so, heel Roman Reigns takes storylines overall, four to one, so, yeah, heel Roman Reigns on top here, from here, last two, Reaction, okay? This one is such a clear win to heal Roman Reigns, okay? Heal Roman Reigns, from what we've seen with crowds at WrestleMania 37, he absolutely gets the desired reaction. Now, this could change when we actually have touring crowds and you have crowds full of smarks in, like, in like Chicago or smarks in New York, like, cheering Roman Reigns because of how good his heel work is. Like, it'll probably change and, you know, get a bit diluted then. But from what we've seen, Reigns always gets the desired reaction. When Reigns is there with a the crowd, he gets booed, okay? He doesn't get cheered because of his great heel work. Meanwhile, Roman Reigns, the babyface, would be actively cheered when he'd come out. Sorry, he wishes. Roman Reigns, as a babyface, would be actively booed when that's the opposite of what should be happening. He'd get, like, 70 to 80, 20, like, splits. He'd be, like, either 70, 30, or 80, 20 as far as, like, boos. It's just... What an absolute joke. So, yeah, Hill Roman Reigns takes the lead 5 1. Hill Roman Reigns wins reactions. And finally, Physique, okay? Physique, this one, I mean, Hill Roman Reigns, the tribal god version of Reigns, 2020 through 2021 Roman Reigns. Dude looks like a demigod physically, okay? Compare him to 2016 Roman Reigns, who, compared to literally everyone watching this video and everyone in the community, is has a god tier physique. But compared to himself of several years down the line, his current self, Babyface Reigns was just nowhere near Heel Reigns. So yeah, Heel Reigns wins overall this video, six categories to one. Coincidentally, this was the same as the Reigns and Omega one. This time, yeah, six to one, Heel Roman Reigns beats Babyface Reigns. That's been the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, sure, like, comment, sub, there's no drill. See ya.